Hello Divine Masculine, this is Michelle at Divine's Purpose. How are you? I woke up this morning and I keep hearing it's time to fly. So we are in the full moon in Libra. Libra is an air sign. So this is really in aspects of masculine energy within us. What that means is that the air is really a mental. It's about clarity. It's about truth. Um, Divine Masculine Energy has been through a lot the past six months and it's time for you to fly. I keep thinking of Superman, you know, this journey is really about saving your own soul, but then also stepping into the front lines of the battle and start saving your own soul, but other people's as well. Souls are needing to be saved, especially what's going on right now with this virus. It's, it's time to get prepped is what I'm hearing, but Versus being in the front lines in the battlefield, Divine Masculines, I'm hearing that you're the one who has the Superman cape and you're about to take off. Um, so this message is for you, Divine Masculines. If this resonates, amazing. If it doesn't, please leave it. Divine Feminines, if you're cross-watching, what is going on, my loves? Um, you know, you could take this also for a message with yourself because all of us have masculine and feminine energies within, okay? So I'm gonna call in my angels, ascended masters and guides who would like to work with me today and also Archangel Manatron who is strongly sitting with divine masculines right now, guiding them, leading them forward into what? Mission. It's all about mission, my loves. So the first energy and card that wants to greet us is Lady Venus. Downloads and understanding. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realms. Exactly. This is a beautiful energy because you are receiving guidance, messages, downloads from the higher. Okay, so this is really about truth. The full moon in Libra is about bringing balance into your life. The thing is, my loves, divine masculines, you have been really put into a place of confusion, um, maybe even hiding. You are definitely more of a grounded energy, Divine Masculines, and you guys are also the messengers of God. So the thing is, if your mental space is still trapped in the material world, in wounded, distorted ego, or any other fear-based programs that have been put on you, it's time for you to really balance that energy and understand that that's still going to be there but it's time for you to partner up with it versus trying to uh, work against it or try to work with it okay that's a really deep message to buy masculines um we have lord shiva transcendence rise up honor your inner force steps are being given dance with the universe sacred dance is coming a lot for divine feminines sacred self for divine feminine divine masculines you're mirroring it in some type of way through transcendence it's time for you to transcend the old you no longer exists it's time for you to rise up are you ready are you ready to let go of the old are you ready to claim your Superman cape? Um, and the biggest thing is, are you ready to also claim the person who's supposed to be flying next to you? Um, you know, this is a really beautiful energy because I've been getting a lot of questions lately because the uh, the full moon in Libra, it's the pink moon, it's the fullest moon of 2020 and there's a lot of soulmates coming in, you know, and it's really beautiful. It's really exciting. But at the same time, like for me personally, and I'm, and this is literally my masculine energy within me. So I can say this during this read is that if you're not having the cape and you ain't flying next to me, then I love you, but we ain't going to get it happen. Okay. So it's really about mission work. It's really about understanding your journey and really expanding is what I'm picking up. Okay. Divine masculines, your last energy here for the keepers of the light is Joan of Arc, voice of truth. Stand strong, focus on your purpose, release the fear of persecu persecution, and speak your truth. Ain't that the facts? Listen, Divine Masculine, when Spirit calls me forward to do this reading, especially early in the morning, and I'm still drinking my coffee, it's because there is some truth here, and it's time for you to speak your truth. Look at that sword. It's right centered in the heart space. She knows, you know, she's balanced. It's time for her to speak her truth. You know, the voice is such a powerful gift. And the thing is, Divine Masculines, it's time for you to really get out of the hiding and really for you to come forward and speak your truth. You know what? This can resonate with so many things. I just keep seeing the circles behind everybody. So it's really cool. Um, 
the moon is a feminine energy divine masculines and the thing is a lot of divine masculines have been living in their distorted wounded masculine energy for so long and now that the heart chakra is opening and you're rising up into your throat chakra which is your voice you're allowing the feminine energy to come in and now it's time for you to really heal feminine energy that's why there's two feminine energies in the lord shiva that has a very feminine appearance in my opinion the snake is interesting huh Mm. blue communication loyalty so cool so i'm gonna um clarify some of this energy with the oceanic tarot as this is my divine masculine deck um really beautiful energy my loves i pray that you know you do step forward i pray that you claim your your superman powers um Take that as it resonates to you. All I know is that as a divine feminine who is very strong in her mission and her purpose, I understand the need to have divine masculines coming forward and starting to really put in the work um, because we need you. And the thing is, there is so much potential work. <laughs> and I'll say it like that because divine masculines are such an action-based work. They need the they need the pentacles. They need the security. You know, they need all of those things. Um, they're physical beings. You guys are physical beings. So I'm telling you in the next six months, there's going to be a huge opportunity for divine masculines to step into mission work and really help save the planet, save other souls. And this is going to be something that's going to bring you so much prosperity. So I'm telling you, we're going to need you. We need you guys to stand strong next to us. Um, so that's that. So we have for um, Lady Venus downloads and understandings, truth is being revealed. You have drama, which is um, the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords with drama, this always means to me that, you know, this is causing some mental conflict a little bit with you because you're not understanding how to really connect these messages. Um, and the thing is, you really have to surrender it, my loves. You've got to let god lead this is about being in the hangman position and being a little bit more um freer um allowing the time and patience that is needed to understand this the other thing that i'm getting too is that some divine masculines are really watching you know a feminine energy to really get some more deeper understanding which is very beautiful please continue to learn divine masculines lord shiva okay guys i can't like all day long it's been like major arcana it's a lot so transcendence rise up on your inner four steps are being given dance with the universe it's time it's time like this is it you're ready to take the leap you've been working hard because you've been manifesting everything this is a beautiful energy and there's so much coming through with this and i love lord shiva especially living in bali and studying in bali for three months there was so much energy there um and with this energy here with the magician, the fool, and Lord Shiva transcendence, this is a deeper understanding that you divine masculines have been manifesting this journey. You've manifested your divine feminine to come into your physical life. You've manifested the brand new beginning. You've manifested everything. The thing is your higher self was trying to, you know, guide you, but your lower self, which is, you know, your ego, your pride, all of that, you know, 3D aspects of human human flesh was trying to, you know, bring you to something else. But this is the moment of balance during this full moon. You know, 4-7, that's my number. That's an 11, my loves. This is time. And the 4, 2020, the 4 is about foundations, partnerships. There's so much coming into this. It's amazing. But yeah, it's time for you to really understand that you've manifested this and you do carry the power. Also understand that this can be used into the light or this can be used in the shade. And I think divine masculines have been working this too much in the shadows, but it's time for you to come into the light. I'm laughing because the voice of truth is such a personal message. It can't be. Yeah, I'm just laughing. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. Divine Masculines, it's time for you to release your fear. Um, you know, I usually don't read reversals, but this is coming in as a reversal and I'm hearing to leave it because this is about competition with your Divine Feminine. And I'm hearing it very strong because of the two other cards that came through. We have Justice. This is the Libra energy. This is balancing of the scales, the sword. This is exactly what this full moon is. That's why it's here. You can't make this shit up. 
major arcana, major arcana, major arcana, major arcana. This is divinely guided messages. It's very strong. The five of wands in reverse. It's time for you to stop being competitive with your divine counterpart, my love, because in the end of the day, you're supposed to ride and die beside each other, not above, not below. This is a unity, okay? This is a unity. And the only way to do that is by opening up your heart space. King of Cups. You've got to understand your emotions. You've got to work with your emotions. The cup represents the Holy Grail and everything inside of the cup is the love you put into it. Don't worry about the um, putting out. That's the balancing and that's why justice is here, okay? Um, so that's an amazing message. I'm going to close out with mission work because again everything to me has to do with mission you know if you're still focusing on your purpose your purpose is to be happy your purpose is to be in harmony free just whatever your soul is calling for you to do mission work is what i keep picking up for you guys it's that superman cape it's time to save the world it's time to save yourself it's time to save humans it's time to save animals whatever you're being called to listen to your purpose because it's talking to you okay one last message here please and then i'm going to wrap it up if you guys like the video please press like share subscribe and i will be on shortly the message for you today my loves is to unpanic some of you were really living in fear it's time for you to unpanic Please understand that the Magenta Bridge is literally Archangel Metatron's message towards you. And 34 is a 7. This is God's number. You are definitely being guided. If you feel scared in any aspect, that is your fear. That is your shadow. That is that wounded, distorted energy that's coming out. I'm also feeling a little bit of inner, inner child that's coming out as well. You are worthy enough. And this is exactly what's happening. Okay, pause. Let me breathe. Let's take a deep breath together, everybody. <sighs> well, first of all, I'm stuffed up. <laughs> Anyways, this is a message for you, Divine Masculines. You are worthy. There's no need to compete with anything or anyone anymore. You are worthy to claim your crown. You are worthy to claim your divinity, a.k.a. You are worthy to claim your superhero cape. You've always been a superhero, but you've been working in a very darker, unhealed energy, it's time for you to move forward and come to the Magenta Bridge, the Rainbow Bridge, my loves. Look it up if you don't know what it is. You are worthy. You are worthy. Remember who the fuck you are, Divine Masculines. Listen, y'all have a grateful moon. I will be on shortly.